everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the uh, PGA Tour DFS slate for uh, this weekend, uh, starting tomorrow morning, the, uh, the uh, Shriners Children's Open. Uh, a couple of things to note is that this, uh, this tournament does rate to the very, very high scoring, uh, high scoring meaning uh, uh, golfers going to do really, really well. They're low, low score under par, high fantasy point up the uh, output. Etc. That really doesn't impact the way we were handicapping, but just from a sweat perspective, if you are, you know, if you're like minus three, you shouldn't be too happy about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go through uh, the process of building these lineups and just a couple of disclaimers. It is still early. I'm going to go probably do a, several others like this later on in the day, maybe even later at night. Projections could change still. There are a couple of guys, for whatever reason, I still don't have projections on. Some of these like low 6K guys that I have to kind of tighten up. But again, um, we will do the slate preview, but the process, I believe, is, is, is more important. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to just take a look at the slate. You know what I mean? Before we get into the projections. And you see that, again, the, the, the big dogs are still not around. You get another shot from Ludwig Olberg. Again, you know, he he, he went, played the Ryder Cup and then flew in on no sleep and I think got into the playoff uh, last week. Um, pretty, I mean, not playoff, but what is it, top or whatever. I think, he, I think he made the playoff. I don't know why it's not listed in here. Um, oh, we got a share of second, but really good performance. Um, nonetheless, but you guys got like Tom Kim, Cameron Davis, and even JJ, JT Poston at the top. So you got to get used to these guys at these types of prices. But again, it's all relative to everybody else. So uh, again, it's not that big a deal. But let's just scroll down and see if anything just kind of stands out just based on my gut. You know, uh, this Norman 8800 might look okay. Again, we're just we're going to go with the models eventually. But Svensson 8200. Um, Austin Eckrow, we haven't seen him in a while, and he's only 73. I don't know, maybe he shows up. Then Quests at only 7,200. He's been pretty good in these types of fields. Uh, Yuan, he's been, he was really good last week, I think. Eric Van Royen coming back at 6,800. Seem, seems cheap. What do I know? Um, golf is such a model-driven sport, and it's so projection-based that, I mean, really, what you, what you have to do is start with the projections and then build. You know, you could give your own tweaks along the way, but your own kind of narratives and your kind of gut and opinion about golfers, I mean, there are sports better suited for that than golf. Let's put it that way. I mean, you got a feeling about a basketball player, a football player, or, you know, even a pitcher, a baseball player, you either want to play or don't want to play. I mean, look, peace, uh, feel free to just insert your take instead of the projections, but I've been doing this a while now with this, these golfers and these models are just so sharp that, and, and people's biases are so brutal with respect to golfers that I'm just sort of inclined to just ignore them. Um, nonetheless, uh, let's just kind of get into it. We'll pull up my sheets and this is what's available on true DFS um, for premium subscribers. And so every once in a while I will show these and we are rating these guys by sheets value score which is a, you know, kind of a combination of fantasy points and points per dollar with, you know, with a, with a side of bacon, sort of. Um, and we kind of rank them in this way. Uh, we also have our sort of aggregate ownership projections over here. Now, again, all these are based on a, a combination of all the models I have access to sort and back tested for accuracy. So some of them get a little bit better, better weight than others. Um, and then we just kind of gaze and see what we have here. Um, the, the first thing that I'll notice is that of those four 10 Ks, only two of them just show up in this first group. Um, and it's Tom Kim and Aberg, like Cam Davis and JT Poston just really just fall. And the 10 K guys usually are supposed to show up near the top. Uh, so the fact that these guys are way down here, probably should probably say something. Um, as far as 9K guys, I mean, you have to go down to Siwoo Kim to get be the first one. 
and then Adam Shank. So the 9K guys are the ones who are really also just not showing up as, as strong. Where you're getting all the juices of the 7K and 8K. So let's just take a look at these. You have Andrew Putnam, Bo Hostler in the 8K range is number two and three overall. And then even Adam Svensson, you know, he's really close overall. And then J.J. Spawn. And then these other guys in the 7K range, like Ben Griffin up here. And then Patrick Rogers. Pat, Matt Neesmith, Nick Taylor, you know, even Sam Ryder. So you, you'll see what, what's happening here. You know, like, like this, the 9K range is the range that is just not modeling that well. And it's not as if they're they're particularly low owned. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, Adam Shank is 15% owned, you know, and he's the first 9K guy you get to, and he's not even at the top. The other thing to note is that of these high rated guys, none of them are that popular. You know, Ben Griffin at 11% is pretty reasonable. Bo Hostler at 12% pretty reasonable. Patrick Rogers, 10% extremely reasonable. Nick Taylor at 7%. I mean, these are really, really good plays. So this is probably where I will just kind of live in my hand builds. Now, again, your hand builds is not the same as your, as your Saberson builds. Um, so we really want to, um, kind of treat them differently, but let's, let's, let's do a couple of hand built lineups based on these sheets and based on these projections, um, and see what types of stuff we get to. Um, so let's pull up a, this is, what's this, a snowman. So let's, let's, what I like to do first, let's just see if you can get the first guys in. Okay. Literally the, the, the top rated guys in, we don't care about ownership. We don't care about anything else. All right. So it would be these um, six probably can't get them all in because they're two 10 Ks, but let's, let's start with the top one. We'll start with Tom Kim. We're not going to be able to get him and Aber again. So let's just see if we can't just list all the others. Putnam, Hostler, uh, Griffin, Svensson, and uh, Rogers. Okay, so you can't get them all in, right? But it, it doesn't take much to see where you can save money. So if you only need to save 700, you know, you could play, you can't quite go to Thompson's. You can't, you can't quite, you want to save off of one of these guys. So you want to save probably off of Spenson if we want to be pure. So you could play literally any of these three guys, like Smith, Taylor, and Ryder. And what you probably want to do in that case, let's pick the lowest owned. Taylor, 7,100. He can replace um, Hostler or Putnam or any of these guys, right? Who's the lowest rated guy, for example? Now, again, we can play multiple lineups, of course, but so Svensson's the lowest, so we'll replace, we'll replace him. We'll play Svensson with um, any of these guys. And you can get up to Ryder if you want for an extra point. So that's probably the, the optimal lineup, you know. You can get a little – you get 3% better ownership and you give up a full point to go to Nick Taylor. But the point is, is that these things build themselves. You know, when you have a lot of good 7K guys and 8K guys, you really don't need to reach for the 9900s. These things kind of build themselves. So this would be this would be a good way to start. And if you listen, if you want to play, if you want to play uh, play Aberg, like these, you could. These are interchangeable. You know. So the hand build the hand built streets for me are easy this week. You know, I could I could build twenty plus lineups by hand, and really really be be comfortable because it's not like getting anybody that's that popular, you know. Um, okay, so now let's go, and I'm not necessarily going to do this because I said all the projections will change and all the ownerships will change and everything else will change. But 
that's the process of how I use my sheets to do the handbill stuff. So let's then go to Saber Sim and let's see what they have to say about all of this. All right, so we'll build, make a whole new build. And there's a couple of things that we have to do. Um, actually, we did already. I, I, I put the contest sim settings in here for the sand trap, the snowman, the par four, and the driver. The sand trap being the big MME lottery, and the snowman being the 888, the par four being the 250, which is similar to the 888, I guess. And then the, the driver, which is the single entry. And I put different settings in, you know, I put in the contest size, how much the first place, you know, because what we're going to try to do is have Sabersim again, tailor our lineups after we build them to the exact contest that we want to play them in. So first thing we want to do is we want to upload the projection. Now, again, there are guys missing from this, so this is not going to be pure at all. Again, they're like, they have five or six guys that aren't projected that are below six, below 6,500. And I have to, I do have to do those. So we'll upload what we have. And let's just build, we'll build what is it, 150, right? We'll build 150 lineups. Well, we're going to build 5,000 lineups, but we're going to rank the top 150, at least as far as the first view goes. And I imagine we're going to see some similar builds to what I just threw up there. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty, I mean, according to the projections, according to the models, this is kind of an easy week to build. You know, it is golf, so it doesn't mean they're necessarily going to win. But you stick to the top guys this week, you're probably, you're probably going to be okay. Um. Now, again, because it's a very high scoring, like a lot of, you know, there's be a minus 20s at least this week. I mean, even like the lower the lower level guys can can get it going. So I do think there's going to be an extra extra bit of variance in this week. Um, like, for example, if uh, I mean, in my opinion is the harder the course, the 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 more likely the better golfer wins. So the easier the course, the more likely some random wins. So I, I do think that uh, there is going to be quite a bit of variance in, this, in the results this week. So, I mean, if you are getting like really high ownership, then, then you should probably get off it. And you could use these tools to, to help you do that. Let's see? And if you ask me to give my opinion on, you know, Kim versus Aberg, I, I just don't, I don't like one. I mean, I really don't. I mean, I just, I just say, just refer to the projections. Golf is, golf is like that with me. And last week I tried at first to just say, you know, I just feel like fading off Aberg because he was coming off the Ryder Cup thing. Then I said, you know, what am I doing? And uh, turns out he, he was just fine. I don't know if he was in the winner. I think he was actually. Okay, so here's 150 liners built. Oh, right off the bat, we have guys that we didn't get to. Oh, all right, I like this. So let's uh, run a contest sim. And what this is doing right now is running these lineups against, um, well, it's it's running the contest simulations that I, the settings that I put forth before. You know, how many people in the tournaments and things like that. And now it's taking these lineups and 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 then, you know, tailoring them to those particular contests and it's going to allow me to to sort by contest uh, exactly so we'll just give this a minute uh first thing i find interesting is that you know like kim and, and aber not that highly owned oh, well i mean kim's 30 percent then griffith 50 percent you know in, in just the straight builds Let's see if we can, uh, what it looks like when we uh, look at the actual lottery. So here in the sand trap, we sort by risk adjusted ROI. And then you'll see that the highest owned guys are just a little different than the guys we thought. You know, Davis Thompson, Mark Hubbard, Adam Spence. You're still getting some of the guys, but not all of them. So I, I find that very, very interesting. Um, and in a situation like that, and again, you can, I am inclined to to just go with this. The only thing that is weird and I think is impacting 
the results is this Davis Thompson thing because you see that, and this is the annoying thing, right? So they have a 0% ownership projection. And the way the contest sims work is that it's comparing them to not my ownerships, but to Saber Sims. So it's naturally going to get more Davis Thompson until they fix this and the ownership becomes like something, um, which is very interesting. Um, so, but that but that's the way you would do it, okay? And, and and this was what it would look like to have, this is your sand trap, you know, uh, your sand trap builds. And just to show you, well, we'll put that in, save to contests, put into sand trap, and then let's see what the different types of contests look like. Let's see what the snowman would look like, for example. It definitely looks so. Does it look different? It really doesn't look that different. Um, but once again, this David Thompson thing is um, is definitely going to be a. Uh, it's going to stick in the craw. Because it is affecting the contest sims. Uh, but we'll just fill these in for now. Snowman. And then we will do the uh, par four. A little bit different. Par four. And then we'll do the driver. A little different. That actually looks pretty familiar. I'll put that in here. And then we will download these. Then we will or edit entries, upload. And then we will be good to go. So for later builds, I mean that's again that's that's some kind of advanced stuff, you know. So, so you don't want to just blindly trust the Saberson build. You know, you want to just you know you want to look and see what's what. You know, when you get like such a high percentage of a guy, it's worth examining a little further why that would be. And because it's because Davis Thompson has no ownership projection. So we have to um, we have to fix that. Um, and unfortunately. You could fix this. In other words, I don't have to run this against the Saber Sim ownerships. I can run it against this actual build. So, like, this could be kind of fun. You want to try this? We'll try this on the fly. First, let's get the 50 lineups here. So I see what I'm, 150 lineups here. So I see what I'm looking at again. All right, we're going to put this back just so I have it. And then contest Sim settings. What I want to do is run this against this actual build. Um, so this is what I want to do. I'm going to go back to this one where I just didn't use the contest sims. I just ran it against whatever. When I just I ran a regular build, and what I want to try to do is change the contest sim settings. to go to build three. So now instead of using Saber Sim ownership to, you know, to gauge what ownership to expect, where it would be zero, okay? Now we're gonna use actually what build three was to, um, to gauge the ownership. So I'm just wondering I'm imagining that we get less Davis Thompson when we take out that zero, you know what I mean? Like ownership projection from Saberson out of the mix. Let's see if this works. All right, so let's see. Um, let's try a sand trap, RRI. And look at that. Much different, right? A, mu a, much, a much better... You know what I mean? That's excellent. Pretty cool, right? So now I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, 
So the first thing I want to do is I'm, I want to do the same thing with the others, but let's first save this to my contests. Wow, we learned a little something. Look at that. Strong. Now, uh, let's do the same thing. Again, we're probably not going to have to do this later because they're probably going to give an ownership uh, uh, We're gonna, they're gonna probably give an ownership uh, to the, uh, they're gonna give a, uh, an ownership number to that player to Davis Thompson but just in case they don't we have this as kind of a kind of a workaround I hope everybody follows what I did there but just to review I, instead of comparing the our lineups to what the contest sim uh, group of lineups are we're comparing it to what our builds were um, because that actually had a full set of ownership projections. Otherwise, we'd be comparing it to lineups where somebody was a 0% on guy, which would naturally mean that we probably want to get all of them. <laughs> pretty much. All right, so let's uh, run the contest in again. I think we have to run it again, right? I can't believe we actually did, I actually did something useful without even, without even planning on it. We learned something on the fly. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, snowman. And it's a little bit different, right? I don't know why I'm getting Cam Davis, but that's what it is. We'll save this for now. Davis, then car four, a little bit different. Then driver. Now that's this is not exactly perfect either, right? Because because we're com we're comparing like snowman lineup builds to the one hundred and fifty max build, so it's not exactly perfect, but it's certainly better than presuming Davis Thompson had a zero percent ownership. Very interesting. Okay, download. And, and again, lesson one is, is never try to remember what lineups you had before because if they do come in, you, you won't be happy about it. Okay, so that'll do it. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. And again, that's for me in my world, that, that's something that, qualify, that, that qualifies for pretty cool. Uh, I, don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. All right, uh, okay, good luck later. Uh, good luck in the contest and uh, we'll have more content uh, across all the sports throughout the day, week, month, and week.